finally back to our main story, which is, of course, the death of a man who was the first to set foot on the moon, Neil Armstrong, who's died at the age of 82. As commander of the Apollo 11 mission in July 1969, he uttered, of course, the immortal words, one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, as he made the first human footprint on the moon's dusty surface. Reg Turnell is a former BBC correspondent who reported on that historic event, and he recalls now the internal politics at play. Apollo 11 just happened to be the right crew at the right time. All the rehearsals and preparations had been completed. Apollo 8 and 10 had circumnavigated the moon, and 11 was next in line to make the first landing attempt. And until a few weeks before the launch, NASA's plan was for Buzz Aldrin, as lunar pilot, to be first on the moon with Armstrong as commander following an evil tradition and being last to leave the ship. I had had a top-level briefing on those lines, so it was quite a shock when the final flight plan and press kit showed Armstrong as being out first. Years later, I discovered that three or four of NASA's top men had woken up to the fact that the first man on the moon would be a mortal and that the grey, serious Neil Armstrong was much more suited to such a role than Buzz Aldrin, brilliant but outspoken, and ready to disagree with authority. There was much resentment about the change. Buzz queried it internally, and Neil steadfastly refused to discuss it. And Nessa just said the change was made because it was simpler for Armstrong to exit first. 